One of the races we'll be following closely tomorrow is for the 71st district seat in the State House of Representatives. Republican Tom Barrett and Democratic challenger Teresa Abbott have been running a lot of attack ads in the last couple of weeks. Susan L. Corey caught up with the campaigns today as they work to get out the vote. The stakes are high in Eaton County. With a house seat on the line, it's down to every door. I just wanted to make sure that you knew where to vote. It's a district where ousting incumbents has almost become a habit. Abbott won this seat four years ago, then two years later, Barrett beat her by 146 votes. I definitely don't take it for granted, so I wanted to come by in person. For Barrett, it's a chance to remind voters of the 11 bills he authored that have been signed into law, many of which benefit veterans. I'm the only Iraq War veteran in the State House of Representatives, and I'm the only legislator still serving in the military today. We have $800 million a year that Michigan veterans leave unclaimed from the federal government. But Abbott says her background as a social worker and former county commissioner keep her more connected to the community. I have a reason for every vote, and they're always about the people and protecting our children, our families, our middle class workers, and our veterans, and I have a record that backs that up. Both Barrett and Abbott tell me they're hearing from a lot of voters who are just ready for this election to be over because they're sick of everything that's going on with the presidential race. But at the same time, they're also thinking more about their local elections, something both candidates hope will work to their advantage at the polls. Now hoping this final push. Can I count on your support tomorrow? Will make a difference. So I have your support. Yep, you awesome. Right. Thank Good you luck. very much. Thank yep. you. Susan L. Corey, Fox 47 News. Democrats are trying to pick up nine seats in the House to regain control, so they're hoping this election will help them do just that, since traditionally more Democrats turn out in presidential years.